Hello, my fellow Rom 2 players, the Rip here, with Mojoman, Prussian Prince, and Jonas Nee. Hello. Hello. Hey. We actually have appointment here as well, I think. Hi. Really? <laughs> anyway, uh, so this is a final, best of three finals of first uh, ever TWCC Flash tournament in Rome 2. Uh, we will see Abu from RTK fighting against Heracles from Greek clan. And this map resembles Aki from Shogun 2 a lot, I yeah. should say. A boobs map, as Pointman called it, I, <laughs> if I remember correctly. <laughs> uh, it sounds more like something you would call it. Ooh, uh, cavalry yeah. of Abu is getting caught there. Yeah, that light cavalry. Oh, Why is it that, ultra that, unit that, size that. again? Is it lagging? No, it's Battle not for unit. the for the right boob. It's uh, actually large. large. Yeah. Ah, no, no, it's okay. Sorry, I uh, just uh, put my mouse over wrong unit. It's game large, lags. but it's not medium. <laughs> the game lags quite a bit. So, uh, Abu will be forced to attack uphill. This pike, e Egyptian pikeman. Oh, they out of pike formation. Oh man. What a strange engagement this will be. Yeah. They're still moving through getting torn apart by sword masters. <laughs> yeah. So this is sword masters doing much better against these Galassian roll guards than Praetorians. Look at this. In this uh, choke point uh, between hills. Yeah, but honestly, like... Uh, the thing Abu is, Abu... two cheap units of uh, cab. Abu but... does... I'm not sure if he can use his skirmishers effectively here. Uh, uh -oh. but... elephants coming from the back. That's gonna be interesting. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if Abu will <sighs> need to use his skirmishers effectively. Because infantry Whoa. fight, he's winning. Oh yeah, well, he's got berserkers and... Uh, sword masters. So, yeah, I'm yeah, not, not sure just... why uh, Heraclius uses elephants to chase the skirmishers. I would have used them to help out the infantry. Yeah, mm. I don't know. But man, Sword Master is surprisingly effective against this uh, Glacial Royal Guard. Galati uh, Galatian, sorry. Yes, they didn't get a good charge or something, the yeah. Galatians. But actually, now they grinding it out, it seems. Yeah, now it's stabilized. But... Ir Abu have nice surround. Let's see. I think if... the problem is for uh, Heraclius, he has two of his Galatian royal guards tied up in the far left. I mean, the far right. Yeah, and generals have run a. Oh, elephants have run a mark on the archers. Yeah, but elephants, only two of them left out of controls. Yeah. Dead did nothing. Uh, well, they did get 53 men, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, and they get um, those hunters away. I don't think it's enough. Considering limited ammunition, every man counts. It could still go either way at this point, because uh, Erectus now has two more units of Galatians Ooh. coming up the hill. Those Selenics yeah. flanking the Swordmasters too, that's gonna be painful for Abu. Yeah, and uh, some of his Berserkers didn't charge. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Cavalry running out. Yeah, Heracles totally can grind it out. But the thing is, Heracles is uh, mismicroing his pike unit. He is gave a move order. And now it's getting owned up by other units. But does it matter? Because hmm. this middle force, he has it. Yeah, I think Heracles just about has it. And On look at that nice job with Ptolemy Cap. He got so many skirmishers of Abu. Taken yeah. care of. And that's question I have. Like, if you want to send your uh, elephants, they like. Uh, isn't it easier to sneak cavalry still faster? Like, if he's cavalry yeah. unprotected, elephants are not. Mm, elephants not are purely made for like scaring the enemy. Uh, yeah, they ki kind of. I still need to find their role. So first game goes for. Heracles and. Uh, what looked quite nicely for Abu at the beginning turned out not that nicely. 
Sie, I'm not sure why he rushed straight uh, in if he had the missile advantage. Yeah. So, cavalry. Oh, general engagement. Well, I'm surprised. also so unpredictable. Yeah, I'm surprised by this Ptolemaic uh, cavalry of Heracles. He actually managed to use it effectively. Heavy shock cavalry doesn't work for me at all. I just cannot do it. Mm -hmm. Um. By the way, uh, the way Eleven should be used is kind of if you have, for example, a pike line, then you tie that up with the enemy and then you come around the flank and then you just hit from the rear. That's the way I use Eleven in campaign at least and it works brilliantly. Hmm. And that's an, uh, I'm sorry, but uh, on a different topic, another thing about uh, Rome 2 multiplayer, when you leave a game, can see defeat, it says, you will, you may lose all unsaved uh, progress. progress. <laughs> it's just a patch of a single player, really. Uh, it's yeah. ah well. <laughs> what can we do? Let's take a look at this charge again. Oh, they run where I look. Oh, they run with uh, spears or what? No, no, my. I can control where they run. Let me let me Six Domine! Riders of the Devil! Forward! Yeah, I can I can control from a first person view where not only who they attack, but where they run. Quickly now! This is cool. Oh don't tell me I, I want to get this charge. I can't quit. Oh, I did somehow. <laughs> at speed. Okay. Yeah, get but man, uh, there is no way to tell what I'm charging. Oh yep, couldn't use the skirmishers effectively. Go, so go, is everybody go, go. having fun with this Rum 2 beta? <laughs> <laughs> totally, I'm totally. Uh, in fact, I'm loving the game. Uh, I just think there is so much work to be done, honestly. Uh, and if they don't add uh, key buildings, I will not play LUD at all very soon. Yes, use war mm. cry and intimidation. Do it! I used it. <laughs> Do it, Zerit! It's actually interesting, uh, when you pick this, it's not intimidate, it says uh, fear. So, uh, let's see... It does say intimidate. No, 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 no. When you pick, uh, I will show you in a lobby. In a lobby, it, it uh, says fear and war cry it doesn't mention intimidate so uh let's see well very nicely done by rockless again need to play smart against these things it's like rushing uh rank 9 katana samurai head on mm -hmm. uh, this, this map kind of reminds me of akai from shogun yeah i should say uh I think I learned thing or two today, and huh? well, the way he uses cavalry and the way Pointman used cavalry, like much more conservatively. Uh, yeah. What? You keep it behind your infantry at the beginning. Yeah, because it's more flexible. Like if he uh, sends all of his cavalry on one side, I could either send my cav on the other, or I could group it with my spears and attack his cav. Yeah. Oh, and what I meant, if we look at tooltip for warrior here, you see abilities, war cry, the fear. There is no freaking intimidation. Mm. Uh -huh. hmm. So second game is... Oh, I, <laughs> I need to stop recording. Thank you guys for watching and see you later.